Hey everyone and welcome to Photoshop Basic Training. You're watching Lesson 1B from the Photoshop Trainer YouTube channel. In this lesson we're going to learn about the status bar. Let's continue our exploration of the Photoshop workspace. We looked at the menu bars in the first section, so in this section we will be learning about the status bar. Take a look at the status bar. Right now the status bar is not there, but uh, um, actually let's, let's open up a document before we start looking at the status bar. So in order, in order to see the status bar we have to have a document open. So let's open up uh, an image. So we're going to go to File, Open. You could also use Control O or Command O and choose any image. I'm just going to go through the sample files and pick one, uh, I guess this one. Okay, now, um, if you are a Windows user, you can quickly open a file by double clicking on the application background, which you just just double click on the background, see if I minimize this, it's going to go down here. I'm going to double click on the background and this will bring up our open. Okay. Unfortunately, if you're on a Mac, um, it does not work. So let me open up my image again. And I'm going to tell you about the status bar, which is down here. Uh, to the far left of our status bar, you'll see the magnification level of the active document, which is right here. You can swipe your cursor in this area and type in a uh, new number to change the magnification of your document. So I'm just going to change this to 15 so it's 150 percent. Hit enter and it zooms in to 150 percent. And if you want to get it back to 100 percent you could go down here and retype 100%, but a quicker way is to go over here to your tool bar and sh double click on this magnifying glass or zoom tool. Double click on that and it'll bring us back to 100% view. The keyboard equivalent to this shortcut is Control Alt 0 or Command Option 0 to bring it back to 100%. So if I bring it in back to 150 percent and I hit control alt zero it goes back to 100. To the left of the magnification display which is right uh, okay this is our right isn't it? Okay anyway you will see a display of document sizes. The number on the left displays the uncompressed size of the image if it were to have all layers flattened. The number on the right displays the uncompressed size of the document including all layers and channels. It's important to know that both of these numbers will usually be larger than the final size, final fi file size and of the saved document. For more on the document sizes display, look up document sizes option in the online help file, okay? And next to the document sizes display, there is a small black arrow that pops up a menu. So if I click on this, it says reveal in bridge, and we get our show document sizes, measure scales, efficiency, timing, and all this. So I'm actually going to choose this to current tool. I could you know change it so it shows that I'm on the zoom tool if I go over here to the move tool and I click on that it says move so that's a pretty cool uh, effect so I'm just gonna leave it at document sizes for now um, so actually I'm gonna go over here show current tool zoom and I'm gonna zoom in about to 300% and if you want to unzoom with this zoom tool, you just hit Alt and now you see the minus on the magnifying glass and just click and it'll unzoom. Or once again, you could zoom in and just double click on this tool or use Control Alt Zero. 
Now let's remove each of the zoom tool options. So click to zoom in, click and drag to zoom in to a specific area. So if I click and drag, it'll zoom into that area such as that. Okay, so I'm going to hit um, Control alt 0 to bring it back to 100%. And so you can see if I wanted to zoom into that, I just kind of hold, click and drag, see those little, um, like a marquee type square and let go of the mouse, it'll zoom into that hat. So Control alt 0 back to 100%. And if you double click, zoom to 100% magnifying Location. So if, okay, so if I zoom in and then I double click, oh uh, no, double click on this right here, and then Control Alt Zero zooms to 100%. Alt Option is so we can click to zoom out. So if we hold Alt, it zooms out. And Control Command temporarily toggles the Move tool. So Control, uh, I can move it. If it wasn't locked, I would be able to move it. And then I could let go and uh, and uh, magnify the image. Here are a few more zoom uh, shortcuts we have not yet covered. So if I double click on the hand tool, which is right, right, oh right here. Double click on the hand tool. It'll uh, zoom to fit the screen, which is pretty cool. Uh, control zero is, is also another shortcut to zoom to fit the screen. Uh, control minus or command minus is to zoom in. So if I hit control minus, it actually zooms out. Plus sign zooms in while you're holding control or command. If I'm holding, uh, yeah, so that's how you can zoom in using control. It's pretty cool. And so that's all for, uh, let me hit control zero so it fits to our screen. That's all for this lesson. Stay tuned for lesson 1C, and thank you for watching. Hope this helps.